Hey, good morning, happy Monday, November 13th. So what's going on? Well, how about some worthless news that who cares to use? Yes, did you hear that Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, was approached about running for president? Ooh, we could use that one, couldn't we? And uh, it's official. Dun, 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 dun. Reese Witherspoon and Kevin Costner are not dating. <laughs> And in some local news here, uh, the Chicago area, last week the Chicago Cubs fired David Ross as manager, Papa Rossi as some called him, and hired the Brewers manager, Craig Council. So that's very interesting news for the baseball world and completely unexpected. Anyway, hey, let's get to today's topic before the telemarketers start calling. That's right, today's topic is going to be on telemarketing. Do you get those annoying phone calls from companies like Medicare Benefit Department, from um, U.S. Healthcare or Elder Care, and uh, they come all the times. I've seen them as early as like 6.30 in the morning and as late as you know, 9, 10 o'clock at night. Uh, and aren't they just annoying? And for me as an insurance agent, I find them very, very embarrassing because to me, I think it brings down our industry. So let me give you an idea as to how I handle those phone calls when they come in. Hello? Yes, yes, this is he. What can I do for you? Oh, so you're selling, um, oh, you're not selling. Oh, you're going to inform me about my benefits. Extra benefits like what? Dental, vision, hearing, I get free meals, oh, I get a health club, I get transportation, and I can get my $164 back? Wow, of course I'm interested in something like that. Who wouldn't be? Oh, Evelyn, I'm so excited that you gave me a phone call. You're going to transfer me now to a licensed agent? I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Well, hi, Craig. It's nice to uh, hear you. Mm-hmm. Oh, you want my personal information? Okay, like what? My name? Okay. My age? Do I make my own decisions? Of course I do. Thank you. And uh, well, why do you need that? You want my Medicare number? You want my Social Security number? Hmm. Craig, can you give me your NPN number? Now, I just asked Craig for his NPN number. That stands for National Producer Number. They are required to give you their NPN number. In fact, right up there is a listing of all my NPN numbers with many of the states that I work with. It's on my wall. If you ask me about that, I have to tell you. Well, Craig, what do you mean you don't know it? You forgot it? Well, just look on your insurance license. And with that, Craig just hung up on me. Oh yes, Craig, well I appreciate you enrolling me in uh, this plan that's gonna give me all these wonderful benefits. Um, but you know what, is my doctor in the network? Uh -huh. Oh, okay, so when I get my material, I'm supposed to call the insurance company to get my doctor assigned to me. Okay, all right, thank you. Yes, all too often people have come into my office and said to me, how come these claims aren't being paid? Well, because they think that they're going to Dr. Jones, but Dr. Smith is the one that's on the insurance card because that was something that wasn't solidified at the time of the application because they're just trying to get you off the phone as quick as possible. Now, Craig, if I have any questions or concerns after I get my material, um, what number can I reach you at? Uh, what do you mean you don't have a number? Call the insurance company on the, the numbers on the card. But I want you, you signed me up, how can, I, how can you help me if I have a question or concern? Oh, you can't do that. And Craig has successfully enrolled somebody in a Medicare Advantage plan and when asked about customer service, there's no really good response. Craig is not going to be responsible to help that person out. So this is one of the advantages now of doing business with me. You come into my office, I go to your home, I can meet you at Starbucks, but we have this face-to-face -face relationship. You know who I am. 
I've had many of my clients say, hey, Mark, when they see me at the grocery store, at the mall, um, once even at a car dealership. So you know who I am and I know who you are. And that's important because you know what? We try to sell the best quality insurance companies here. We match those with what's in your best interest. But even though there's always something that could happen, and if you don't know how to navigate an insurance company, you're always welcome, because you know my face, to give me a call. I'll pick up the phone. If I can't pick up the phone, you know I'm gonna call you back shortly. I'll find out what the problem is, and together we can work on finding you a solution. You'll get that customer service from me that you'll never get from the guy who enrolls you with one of those other companies. So here's the thing, this is the value of an independent agent, somebody that you can make a connection with. I'm one, and I hope you'll give me a call at the bottom of the screen. We'll try to find out what's in your best interest with an insurance company that's gonna be around today and tomorrow when you need them. So hey Mark, what's going on at the MLD agency? Hey, we're one week down on um, open enrollment for senior citizens. There's just a few weeks left and we've got that Thanksgiving holiday to be uh, concerned about in the middle of things. Uh, we're now also into the open enrollment for the under 65 through the marketplace. So we've been working with a lot of people on Medicare Advantage plans, on prescription drug plans, and working with people on the uh, under 65. Reasons to give me a call is because the plan that you have may not work for you for the next following year. Uh, your income, that's been a big thing, your income has changed. And note, premiums have gone up this past calendar year and it seems like the government subsidies for those premium credits has gone down. So give me a call. We'll try to figure out what's in your best interest. It's something that you can afford to work for you for the next year in 2024.